Scott Stadium during the summer Scott Stadium is a stadium located in Charlottesville, Virginia. It is the home of the Virginia Cavaliers football team. It sits on the University of Virginia's grounds, east of Hereford College and first-year dorms on Alderman Road but west of Brown College and the Lawn. Constructed in 1931, it is the oldest active FBS football stadium in Virginia. It also hosts other events, such as concerts for bands that can fill an entire stadium, such as the Dave Matthews Band in 2001, the Rolling Stones in 2005, and U2 in 2009. The Virginia High School League held its Group AAA Division 5 and 6 football state championship games at the stadium until 2015. The facility has also hosted the Division I NCAA Men's Lacrosse Championship in 1977 and 1982 and then the ACC Women's Lacrosse Tournament in 2008. Built as a replacement for the old Lambeth Field or Colonnades, Scott Stadium bears the name of donor and university rector Frederick Scott, and held 25,000 spectators at opening. The stadium had a view of the Blue Ridge Mountains and specifically Monticello Mountain out the south end of the stadium. An artificial turf system was installed in 1974, making the long tradition of a mounted Cavalier riding into the stadium with the football team impossible. David A. Harrison III provided a gift allowing natural grass to be reinstalled in the stadium, and the Cavalier has ridden into Scott Stadium every game since 1995 accompanied by orange and blue fireworks. The Cavaliers playing the Penn State Nittany Lions in Scott Stadium in 2012. The first expansion to the stadium's capacity came in 1981, when Upper Decks and Grass Hill seating allowed 40,000 fans. Carl Smith's donations helped make the most recent contributions to Scott Stadium in 2000, filling in the Upper Deck and South End to allow 20,000 additional fans, and installing the pergola. State-of-the-art lighting and gigantic audio-slash-visual tower known as Vision as well as a new lighting system placed on towers with V's built in. The facility's official name is a result of this string of donations. Scott Stadium received a new scoreboard and a larger video screen, who vision. Traditionally, men wear coats and ties and women wear sundresses to games, which is also tradition at Alabama, Auburn, Georgia, Ole Miss, Tulane, and Vanderbilt. Beginning during the 2003 season, However, head coach Al Gro called upon fans to set aside traditional attire for orange clothing. The t-shirt movement has been welcomed by many, but ties and sundresses can still be easily spotted at Scott Stadium among students and alumni. Some have compromised by wearing ties with orange dress shirts or orange sundresses. The Cavalier Daily, the university's daily student-published newspaper, weighed in on the debate in its September 1, 2005, lead editorial. The Declaration, an alternative weekly news magazine at the university, also ran a feature story on the debate prior to the 2006 home opener. Yuva entered this game with an 0-29 record against Clemson. The win was Virginia's first-ever victory over an opponent ranked in the top 10. Both goalposts came down when the fans stormed the field, the first actually fell with 48 seconds still on the clock. The win proved to be something of a watershed in UVA football history in that it set the stage for the 1990 squad to begin the season 7-0, rising to number one in the polls for the first time. In addition, in contrast to Virginia's historical futility against Clemson prior to the 1990 game, as of 2013 UVA has beaten Clemson eight times since that 1990 win. Although since 2004 the schools no longer play every year due to the Atlantic Coast Conference's expansion. The Yellow Jackets ended Virginia's three-week reign at number one in the polls as they overcame a two-touchdown halftime deficit to win on Scott Sisson's 37-yard field goal with 0-07 left. Undefeated Georgia Tech would go on to win the rest of its games to take a share of the national championship. This nationally televised contest was the first Thursday night game played at Scott Stadium and marked Florida State's first loss in an ACC game. In arguably the greatest victory in Virginia football history, FSU running back Warwick Dunn was stopped inches from the south end zone goal line after taking a direct snap on the game's final play. Fans stormed the field and brought down both goalposts, a feat not since repeated at Scott Stadium. With Mac Brown's squad poised to clinch a spot in the Bowl Alliance, UVA trailed North Carolina 17-3 in the fourth quarter and the Tar. Heels were driving for the knockout blow when Antoine Harris picked off a third down pass and returned at 95 yards for a touchdown. Following quarterback Tim Sherman's touchdown scramble on the Who's next drive, kicker Rafael Garcia hit the game-winning 32-yard field goal with 0-39 left. In this installment of the South's oldest rivalry, Virginia extended North Carolina's winless drought in Scott Stadium to 15 years with a 20-17 upset. 
Ten seasons after the 33-28 milestone, Virginia's 1995 ACC co-championship squad was honored in a halftime ceremony. UVA went on to win in a 26-21 upset for its first victory over FSU since the 1995 game. Quarterback Marks Hagens threw for 306 yards and two touchdowns, and Connor Hughes kicked four field goals in the victory. Following the game a large part of the crowd stormed the field, with some fans climbing the goalposts. The celebration was marred, however, by the fact that 12 people were injured in the stampede accompanying the rush to the field. The Cavaliers entered the Commonwealth Cup looking to snap a 15-year losing streak versus the Hokies, led by star quarterback Bryce Perkins. In front of a crowd of 52,619, UVA went on to win in a 39-30 upset for its first victory against the Hokies since 2003. Kicker Brian Delaney made both of his attempted field goals, notching a 48-yard field goal in the fourth quarter. Perkins passed for 311 yards and rushed for 164 in the historic victory. By defeating Virginia Tech, the Cavaliers won the ACC Coastal Division and secured a spot in the ACC Championship against the Clemson Tigers. A panoramic view of 2003's season opening Duke, Virginia game, attended by a then stadium record 61,737 fans. Thanks for watching.